gonna talk about a simple little cocktail called the Cure Royale. Technically, this is the Chambord Cure Royale, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So this is the perfect, delicious, sparkling beverage for an at-home Valentine's Day celebration. Does it have a romantic history? Not exactly, but it does have a pretty cool story to tell. Now, like with most of these cocktails that we've gone through, it's a possibility that the story is a little bit more myth than fact. But why should that stop us? This story begins in France with a Catholic priest named Felix Kier. He was ordained as a priest in 1901 and served as a parish priest near his hometown of Dijon until the breakout of World War I. He was well liked in the army and returned with a Croix de Guerre medal. But where this story really takes off is during World War II. As you probably know, Germany invaded France during the Battle of France in 1940. They captured Paris and forced the French government to surrender. They then established the German occupation zone and the so-called Free Zone, where they established a neutral French government, widely known now as Vichy France. The leader of this government, Philippe Pétain, collaborated closely with the Germans, essentially turning the Free Zone into just another tool of the German military. Eventually, the French resistance rose up to fight the occupation, and the country was in a sort of civil war until Paris was liberated in 1944. Kier was an active participant in the French resistance. When the mayor of Dijon fled as the German army approached, Kier stayed and helped the citizens. He was later sentenced to death, more than once, for helping prisoners of war escape. He was able to get out of it somehow and continued to help the resistance. Now here is where we get to the part that might be a little bit more legend than history. A popular drink in the area of France where Kier lived, Dijon, was the Blanc Cassis. This is traditionally a local burgundy white wine mixed with a black currant liqueur called creme de cassis. Kier was known to serve this drink at gatherings and it eventually became named for him, being such an interesting and colorful character as he was. Local legend states that traditionally, this drink used a red wine, but during the war, the Nazis confiscated all of that beautiful French red wine, and it was Kier who began to make it with white wine, which became the popular version of the drink now known as the Kier. In all likelihood, Kier was just an enthusiast of the Blanc Cassis, but who knows? Maybe he is the one responsible for the makeup of this delicious drink. And it's a reminder that you can fight against evil in even the smallest of ways. Drinking is celebrating, and celebrating is important, even in the midst of a war within a war. So we're going to go the extra mile and celebrate Felix Kier and everything he did for the resistance with a fancy version of his favorite drink, the Kier Royale. Okay, so like I said, the traditional liqueur that is found in a Kier or a Kier Royale is creme de cassis. But I did a little bit of research and I found out that a good creme de cassis is not easy to find in the United States, um, especially up here in Minnesota. So what a lot of Americans do is they use Chambord as a substitute because it's delicious. It's not going to give you that pink color that the creme de cassis does. Um, but it has a nice peachy fizzy color that is just as beautiful and then the raspberry stands out a little bit more. So like I said, creme or the Cure Royale is super easy to make and I'm going to prove it right here. So we're going to take our Chambord and you only need about half an ounce. So I'm just going to do half an ounce here. Pour that in. Then all you do is you top it with about five ounces of champagne. So let's pop the cork, shall we? And you gotta do this carefully. Angle the glass. I'll do my best. Actually, is a really pretty color. A little darker than I was expecting. So, what a lovely Valentine's Day drink. And 
And then, if you have some, or if you want to, you can pop a raspberry in there. <laughs> maybe two. Maybe be a little more gentle than I was. And there you go. Cheers to Felix Kier. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you find a little inspiration in this, the tale of Felix Kier. Um, I hope you find a little light and sparkle in this. We're still in the depths of winter, but spring is coming. And hopefully next time I see you for a drink video, it will be beautiful and sunny and winter will be a thing of the past. So cheers to you and we'll see you soon.